So today we're going to do a tutorial on Google Meet attendees and breakout rooms, which is an extension from the Google Chrome store that you can use while the district is preparing uh, the upgrade for our presentations and um, breakout rooms through the district. So what you would do first, you go to the Chrome web store and you type in Google Meet attendees and breakout rooms and install that. There'll be an install button here. You would click that and would be added to your Chrome extensions, which appear up on the top. Whenever you go then to a meet, and I've started one right here, the meet members would all appear on your right hand side. Okay. You're going to get this toolbar on the top and this little icon here you're gonna notice is for my attendance and for my breakout rooms. So what this, uh, this extension does is it allows me to take uh, attendance for the room and see who's there. And by doing so, I'm able to see all the people who are in the room and it keeps a copy of this list with the date. And it allows me to export this list each day for my attendance and then transfer it over to Genesis if I like. So here I can see the list of people and then here are my settings. Um, I can sort them. I can um, change people on the list by alphabetizing them. I can copy my list and then I can um, export it at the end when I'm done. You'll also notice that it has this bottom portion here that allows me to create groups. Okay, so when I click on this over here, you'll see a list. It says generate groups. And I can choose how many people I want in a group um, or the number of groups. So I'm going to do three groups. I only have three people for this demo. And when I do that, it will click generate groups. I now have three evenly distributed groups with people in each group. And I can take that and I can click at the bottom, copy groups. I can then go to my chat where my students are located and paste those groups for them. So now they can all see in the chat what group number they're in. If I go back to my list, I can also copy the meet links. And then I go to my chat one more time and I can copy that information as well. So now for each numbered group with the names, they all have their own individual link. They would click on this link and it would take them to their new meet with their individual members for their groups. I now have access to a list of all the names of all the students in each of my groups, as well as a link to each of their Meet Hangouts that I can pop in and out of to check in on each individual group and see how they're doing and if they need any assistance. We can then leave these individual groups and come back to our main group chat at the end to debrief or to um, join the class again as a whole. So that's how you would basically use some of the features that are in the um, Google breakout and attendance. It's a quick tutorial for those of you who are interested in getting started.